The Cat and the Mice A long time ago, the mice had all gathered together to discuss their biggest issue. A cat who was chasing and catching the mice. It is chaos, said a mouse angrily. We need to find a solution that warns of the cat, said the other. Can we decide soon before the cat spots us, said another worried mouse. An old mouse raised its paw and said, Let's find a quick solution. The mice soon started to discuss and shout out ideas. We will have a watchtower to warn us, said one. We should all go in groups to avoid being eaten by the cat, said another. I have an idea, said another. Let's tie a bell around the cat's neck. So, when the cat strolls around, the sound of the bell will warn us. All the mice agreed. This was the best idea. All right, so who will bell the cat? asked the old mouse. There was silence. Soon, one by one, all the mice ran away quietly until only the old mouse remained. Moral of the story Giving solutions or having ideas is fine, but it action which defines the solution or idea. The Elephant Circus Once upon a time in a circus, five elephants performed circus tricks. They were kept tied up with weak rope that they could have easily escaped, but did not. One day, a man visiting the circus asked the ringmaster, Why haven't these elephants broken the rope and run away? The ringmaster replied, From when they were young, the elephants were made to believe that they were not strong enough to break the ropes and escape. It was because of this belief that they did not even try to break the ropes now. Moral of the story is, don't give in to the limitations of society. Believe that you can achieve everything you want to. The Golden Goose There lived a goose, special one as that in a lake. It had beautiful golden feathers. Near the lake lived an old woman with her daughters. Even though they worked hard, they remained poor. One day the goose thought, Maybe I can give one golden feather every day so that these women can sell it and have enough money to live. The next day, the goose went to the old woman. I have nothing to give you, said the old woman. But I have something for you, said the goose and explained what she can do. The old woman and her daughters went to the market to sell the golden feather. That day, they came back happy with enough money on hand. Day after day, the goose continued to help the old woman and her daughters. The daughters loved to play with the bird and would take care of it on rainy and cold days. As time went by, the old woman became more greedy. How can one feather help her? When the goose comes by tomorrow... We should pluck all of its feathers, she told her daughters. Aghast, they refused to help her with this. The next day, the old woman waited for the goose to arrive. As soon as the bird arrived, it held by its next and began to pluck at its feather. As soon as she plucked them, the feathers turned white. The old woman wailed and let go of the goose. You have been greedy. When you plucked my golden feathers, without my wish, they turned white. The angry goose flew away near never to be seen again. The moral of the story is, too much greed leads to a lot of loss. It is good to not to steal from others or wish for others out of selfishness. The Milkmaid and Her Pail There was once a milkmaid named Patty. She milked her cow and carried the two pails of milk she fetched on a stick 
and set out to sell the milk at the market. As she was walking to the market, she began to daydream about what she would do with the money she got for the milk. She thought of buying a hen and selling its eggs and she planned on becoming wealthy. She dreamt of buying a cake, a basket of strawberries, a fancy dress and even a new house with the money she would make selling the eggs and the milk. In her excitement, she forgot about the pails she was carrying and began to skip. Suddenly, she realized that the milk was spilling down and when she checked her pails, they were empty. Moral of the story is, don't count your chickens before they hatch. It is important to focus on the process of achieving success and not just success alone. The Thirsty Crow During the summer season, many ponds and lake beds lay dry. Birds flew far and wide in search of water. One such bird was this crow who saw a pot filled with water at the bottom. It tried to reach for the water with its beak, but the neck of the pot was narrow. The crow tried to jostle the pot again and again, but to no avail. Soon, as the crow was too tired to try, it was too thirsty to fly. Suddenly, the thirsty crow had an idea. Plop, plip, plop, it began to drop pebbles into the pot. Slowly, the water rose up and up. The crow continued to drop the pebbles until its beak could reach the water. At last, the thirsty crow was able to quench its thirst. Moral of the story, no matter what you face, patience and intelligence can always help you find your solution. Never give up easily. Tenali Rama and the Thieves In Vijayanagara, there were many incidents of thefts lately. King Krishna Devaraya was worried about the thieves. Everyone in the court, including Tenali Rama, seemed worried. That evening, as he walked back from the court to his home, he noticed two figures hidden behind the big mango tree near the well in his garden. Hmm, I must teach them a lesson, he thought as he reached home. Once home, he spoke so loudly that the thieves were startled but could hear what he was telling his wife. It's not safe to keep our jewellery at home. Please fill our iron trunk with your jewellery and we dropped it into the well for safekeeping. As the robbers sniggered at the idea of an idiot's plan, Tenali Rama whispered to his wife that the thieves were hiding in the garden. He asks to fill the trunk with stones and pots. Once the trunk was filled, Tenali Rama and his wife drag the trunk and drop it in the well. It will be safe here, he told his wife loudly. The two thieves waited for the people at home to sleep. They had a plan. Each robber took turns to draw water from the well. Their excitement soon turned into tiredness and they decided to take a break. Just then, someone said, That's all. The garden is watered. You have done the good deed for the day. The robbers looked around to see Tenali Rama holding a shovel and stick. Shocked, they rose and ran away. Not long after, the people of Vijayanagara didn't complain of any robbery. Moral of the story It is better to stay calm and find a solution to the, a problem. The potato, the egg and the coffee beans A boy named John was upset. 
his father found him crying when his father asked john why he was crying he said that he had a lot of problems in his life his father simply smiled and asked him to get a potato an egg and some coffee beans he placed them in three bowls he then asked john to feel their texture and then fill each bowl with water john did as he had been told his father then boiled all three bowls once the bowls had cooled down john's father asked him to feel the texture of the different food items again john noticed that the potato had become soft and its skin was peeling off easily the egg had become harder the coffee beans had completely changed and filled the bowl of water with aroma and flavor moral of the story is Life will always have problems and pressures like the boiling water in the story. It's how you respond and react to these problems that counts the most. The thirsty crow. During the summer season, many ponds and lake beds lay dry. Birds flew far and wide in search of water. One such bird was this crow. who saw a pot filled with water at the bottom it tried to reach for the water with its beak but the neck of the pot was narrow the crow tried to jostle the pot again and again but to no avail soon as the crow was too tired to try it was too thirsty to fly suddenly the thirsty crow had an idea plop 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 it began to drop pebbles into the pot slowly the water rose up and up the crow continued to drop the pebbles until its beak could reach the water at last the thirsty crow was able to quench its thirst moral of the story no matter what you face patience and intelligence can always help you find your solution never give up easily the tortoise and the hare the story began when the hare who has won many races proposed a race with the tortoise the hare simply wanted to prove that he was the best and have the satisfaction of beating him the tortoise agreed and the race began the hare got a head start but became overconfident towards the end of the race his ego made him believe that he could win the race even if he rested for a while and so he took a nap right near the finish line meanwhile the tortoise walked slowly but extremely determined and dedicated he did not give up for a second and kept persevering despite the odds not being in his favor while the hare was asleep the tortoise crossed the finish line and won the race the best part was that the tortoise did not gloat or put the hare down moral of the story is slow and steady wins the race when you work hard stay focused and you can achieve anything even when it seems impossible two frogs with the same problem once a group of frogs was roaming around the forest in search of water suddenly two frogs in the group accidentally fell into a deep pit the other frogs worried about their friends in the pit seeing how deep the pit was they told the two frogs that there was no way they could escape the deep pit and that there was no point in trying they continued to constantly discourage them as the two frogs tried to jump out of the pit but keep falling back soon one of the two frogs 
started to believe the other frogs that they will never be able to escape the pit and eventually died after giving up the other frog keeps trying and eventually jumps so high that he escapes the pit the other frogs were shocked at this and wondered how he did it the difference was that the second frog was deaf and couldn't hear the discouragement of the group he simply thought they were cheering him on moral of the story is people's opinion of you will affect you only if you believe it to be so it's better to believe in yourself